This is a review for the Blue Air Blue Pure 311 Auto. This unit is cylindrical in shape. It's about 20 inches tall with a diameter of 11 inches. The unit weighs about six and a half pounds. This air purifier features a fabric pre-filter, a proprietary particle filter, and an attached carbon filter. Air enters the air purifier through this bottom section here. It passes through the fabric pre-filter, through the proprietary particle filter, and then through the attached carbon filter into the center of the unit and then air exits through the top here. This blue air unit has three fan speeds, low, medium, and high. It outputs at approximately 250 CFM and it usually retails for between $200 and $250. So what do we like about the Blue Air Blue Pure 311 Auto? We definitely like the energy efficiency of this unit. It has an extremely good CFM to watt ratio on all three fan speeds. The ratios are 22 to one on low 18 to one on medium and eight to one on high. These are the best ratios we've seen among all of the approximately 250 CFM units we've tested so far. This unit also has fairly good CFM to DB ratios. So it also has very good noise output, very low noise output uh, compared to its airflow. The 311 Auto is also very lightweight for such a high output unit. Again, it weighs only about six and a half pounds. Uh, most competitors with the same output as this unit they weigh upwards of 15 pounds or so. Uh, so this is a very lightweight unit for its airflow. And this leads us right into some of the things we don't like about the 311 Auto. The reason why it's so lightweight is because it has a very unique design. There's no front grill on this unit adding to its weight. There's basically the fabric pre-filter, the particle filter, the carbon filter, and then a very lightweight plastic frame that holds everything together. So this is a very unique design and is the reason why this unit is so lightweight. The problem is that this unique design does have some downsides. Not having a front grill on the air purifier does reduce the weight of it, uh, but now you don't have that front grill protecting the filters on the unit. You also have the pre-filter exposed to the outside. So the goal of the pre-filter here is to keep larger particles, hairs, uh, larger dust particles from making their way onto the HEPA filter and saturating that HEPA filter very quickly. Uh, the issue is that those particles, those larger particles and hairs, they tend to accumulate on the pre-filter. Now on a standard air purifier with a front grill, that pre-filter is gonna sit behind the front grill. Uh, so you're not gonna see larger particles accumulating on that pre-filter. On this blue air unit, the pre-filter is fully exposed here. Uh, so you will see it getting dirty over time. The pre-filter that's on here also needs to be cleaned over time and you clean it by vacuuming it, by dusting it off. And as you vacuum it, as you dust it off over time, it is gonna show wear on this pre-filter. On a standard air purifier, the pre-filter is behind a grill and because it's not visible, it doesn't have to be made of a fabric material that actually looks nice. So that material on a standard air purifier is gonna be much more resilient to cleaning over time uh, than the fabric on the pre-filter of this unit. Another component of the unique design of this unit, another thing that we don't like about it, is the fact that it uses a proprietary particle filter. Top rated units we recommend all have HEPA filters, and HEPA filters provide a standard level of quality that is very high. It's HEPA filters that are commonly used in industry. It's HEPA filters that you find in hospitals. This is a known quantity that you get with a HEPA filter. Uh, the Blue Air 311 Auto here, it does not have a HEPA filter. It has a proprietary particle filter. Now that is not to say that this is a bad filter. It does do very well filtering many different particles of many different sizes. There just isn't nearly as much research done. There's just not as much proven science behind these filters, these proprietary particle filters, as there is behind HEPA filters. Moving along with the same theme, is the quality of the carbon filter that's in this unit. That's another thing that we don't like about it. Uh, the carbon in here, it's a thin foam sheet, and that is unlike the pellet-based carbon filter that you find in the top-rated Winix 5500-2, for example. So the thin foam sheet in here, this thin foam sheet of carbon, it doesn't have as much surface area. There's not as much gas filtration media as there is in pellet-based carbon filters. Uh, so that is another negative for this blue air unit. The last negative that we'll talk about for the 311 Auto is that it does lack certain features that you get with top rated competitors. For example, there is no timer on this unit. It also doesn't come with a remote control and there's also only three fan speeds on this unit. Top rated units have up to four fan speeds. Now the lack of these features, it's not that big of a deal, uh, but we did want to mention it here in the section on the negatives for the 311 Auto. Moving on to how this model compares to other Blue Air, Blue Pure air purifiers on the market, we've now tested the 411, the 311, and the 211. 
The 411 is essentially a cheaper, smaller, lower airflow version of this 311. The 211 is a larger, more expensive, higher airflow version of the 311. All three models have a very similar design. Otherwise, they all have a fabric pre-filter wrapped around the outside of the air purifier. They all use proprietary particle filters and they all use a thin carbon sheet for gas filtration. They all also use a single button to select different settings. Since they are so similar to the 311 Auto, uh, much of the criticisms that we have for the 311 Auto also apply to the 411 and the 211. So how does the 311 Auto compare to top rated units that we've tested? Like those top rated units, this unit does have very good airflow. It has good energy efficiency and it has a low noise output. On the negative side of things, it does have this fabric pre-filter that we don't like. It has a proprietary particle filter that we don't like, and it has that thin carbon sheet that we don't like. It's primarily because of this lower filter quality that we generally do not recommend the 311 Auto over those top rated units. See the description of this video for a link to the latest updated list of all of the air purifiers we recommend, and thank you for watching.